हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर हेमलता ये एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर महारानी साइंस कॉलेज फॉर विमेन इन दिस सेशन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द सोशल सोसाइटी इन टर्माइट्स टर्माइट्स विच आर कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज द वाइट एंड्स आर socially polymorphic insects in each colony there may be few hundreds to several millions of members present termites includes well organized colonies and they have more number of casts compared to the honey bee which we did in the previous video there are two major casts present in the colony of the termites one is the reproductive cast where there are three types under the reproductive cast the second major one is the sterile cast where there are two different types of members present in the sterile cast the two categories of termites when you look at the taxonomy are classified into lower termites and higher termites there are some families under lower termites the first one is mastodermitidae they are primitive termites the scientific name being mastodermis darwiniensis found in northern australia and papua new guinea here the peculiar feature is primary queen is not recorded so far in this colony but instead you find many substitute queens in one single colony the second one is callotermitidae which is called as the dry wood termites about 400 species are distributed throughout the world example callotermis and glyptotermis the third uh, family is termopsidae called as damp wood termites about 20 species found in the forests of america eurasia africa and australia then you have hodo termitidae which are grass harvesting termites found in india and africa like hodotermis and anacanthotermis then you have rhino termitidae which are subterranean termites which are known to build mounds the termitarium which are the mound builders and also aerial nesters and about 300 species are distributed in most of the continents under higher termites you have the family termitidae and these are known to make nests of clay which are found at a height above the ground level and they build the clay nests which are called as termitaria and it's found in tropical countries like asia africa australia and south america there are about 1800 species like amitermis microcerotermis termis then cubitermis capri termis nasutitermis macrotermis microtermis and odontotermis now we shall look at the different cast of members present in the colony of the termites the first major type of cast produced seen in the termite colony is the reproductive cast under reproductive cast there are three types of members the first type is called as the macroteres which bear wings which are well developed they are also called as alate cast the mem these members are called as true kings and queens so here the difference between the honey bee and the termite is anibi has got only queen here both the male and female fertile members kings and queens are present in the colony the characteristic feature of the macroteres forms are they are darkly pigment unlike the workers they they will be darker in color they have got well developed eyes well developed brain and well developed reproductive organs they bear two pairs of wings they go out for nuptial flight and after mating they lose their wings and they start a new colony 
so after mating the queen will be bigger in size especially the abdomen will be swollen as she has uh, received the sperms during mating this condition of swollen abdomen is called as physogastry and this queen has got high fecundity rate that is the reproductive rate is more the second type of individual found under the reproductive cast is brachyteres or short winged forms these are called as supplementary or neotenic kings and queens when there is some problem for the primary kings or queens then they will replace them the primary kings and queens are also called as alates so when there is some danger for the alates then the second type of supplementary or neotenic will replace the alates the third type of form under the reproductive caste is ateres which are wingless forms they are also called as ergatoid kings or queens characteristic feature of these forms are wings are totally absent eyes are poorly developed reproductive organs are poorly developed they are found only in the primitive termites like leucoternes and not in all families of termites they are present only in leucoternes the second major type of caste present in the termite colony is the sterile caste the sterile caste is not concerned with reproduction there are two types of individuals in the sterile caste the first one is the worker and the second one is the soldier we will look at the workers first here both males and females will be workers unlike in honey bee where only females were workers here both males and females are workers they are fertilized eggs that is deployed in condition and up to 90% of the entire colony population is workers 90% of the colony members are workers they are small in size measuring somewhere between 6 to 8 mm in length they have got mandibles which are specialized to chew so they have chewing mandibles eyes are absent and in some cases compound eyes may be present they do not have wings so they are ateres condition they feed upon the food or the fungus products and advanced termites will produce the true workers higher termites will produce the true workers some primitive families which we have already seen will not have the true workers they are absent instead the nymphs they are similar to adult but they do not have wings and reproductive organs it may be under different stages of development and these the development will be arrested and they will act as pseudo ergator or false worker and they will remain as worker throughout life or they may metamorphose after metamorphosis they can become winged forms which are reproductive caste or it can be a potential supplementary reproductive caste if you look at the division of labor the workers they are not concerned with reproduction but they will take care of the eggs young ones they will gather the food store the food feed the nymphs they will take care of the king and the queens they will build the nests and they also cultivate fungus inside the termitarium and maintain a garden of fungus called as fungus garden they build the termitarium which will have many channels inside called as subterranean channels below the ground level and these subterranean channels are all interconnected to each other and there there will be special chambers royal chambers there will be fungal garden they maintain the moisture inside the termitarium and they also to an extent can perform defense and clean other members of the colony in this picture you can see a sterile caste which is a soldier so next we will be doing about soldiers here if you look at the head region of this 
they have got very well developed mandibles so it is with the help of the mandibles they will protect the colony against the predators they will chase the predators with the help of these powerful mandibles if you look at the second type of uh, members under the sterile cast they are soldiers they are developed from unfertilized eggs by means of parthenogenesis they do not possess wings they are larger than workers they are also pigmented to an extent the head is bigger in size and also the snout is larger and they may be provided with powerful mandibles they do not have eyes but in some eyes may be present about uh, 5 to 8% of the entire colony uh, will be the soldiers and these soldiers will rely on the workers for food the workers will feed the soldiers and the only function of the soldier is to keep the colony safe from the predators if you look at some families in termites like termitidae they have special type of soldiers wherein the mandibles are reduced but the head bears a rostrum and at the tip of the rostrum there is a gland called as frontal gland which secretes a secretion which is acrid and what this will do is it will try to keep the enemies away and also it helps in dissolving hard substances especially if they are feeding on the wood this type of soldiers where they have a rostrum they are called as nasut soldiers if the soldiers have well developed mandibles they are called mandibulate soldiers and if they have well developed rostrum they are called nasut soldiers so in this picture you can see the different members of a termite colony the in this diagram you will see the form labeled as a is a nasut soldier where on the head region there is a well developed rostrum the fluid ejected by the rostrum will try to keep the predators away so it is a nasut soldier the form b is the queen of the termite compared to all other members of the colony queen is biggest in size bearing the head with maxillary palp and antenna then the wings are not i mean she has dropped off the wings the abdomen is greatly distended where the eggs are stored c is the worker it is the smallest member d is the male which is the king e is a mandibulate soldier and f is the winged form of male when they go out for flight in this picture you can look at the intricacies of the cha channels present below the ground the subterranean channels which are interconnected to one another then you can see the in this picture one this part the uh, this part if you look at carefully the one which is labeled as one is the queen then the one labeled as two they are the kings three are soldiers so here you can see the section of the termitarium where it is showing the interconnected channels some termites like monotremes will have a symbiotic relationship wherein there is association of two forms and both of them are benefited and neither of them are harmed and the association is between the fungus and the termite and that uh, it is seen in monotreme termites and the fungus is generally the species termitomyces so here the termites will cultivate a fungus garden and the fungus will help in breaking down of the cellulose and the lignin and converting it into nutritious compost 
some termites will host symbiotic protist within their body in the gut region and one of the protist found in the gut of the termite is trichonympha present in the hind gut and this will help in the cellulose digestion and it provides nutrition for the termites in turn it will get food supply and shelter from the termites so here you can see a picture of the fungus garden inside the termitarium where it has maintained a fungus garden inside and both of them are mutually benefited this is the picture of the termitarium which is seen above the ground level and you can see below in the previous picture the what you saw was the subterranean channels which are interconnected below the ground level so this is a color picture of the different forms of the members of the colony here you can see the queen which is the biggest in size this is a picture you can see the kings soldiers and workers and the queen is attended by so many members of the colony the king is the queen's body is very big and the queen when she becomes old and when she doesn't produce enough quantities of pheromones then the members that is the workers will stop feeding her and she will be starved to death then what the workers will do they will devour the body of the queen because it is very rich and that will be converted into nutritious compost so this is the live picture of the members of the termite colony in the termitarium so with this we completed the social life in honey bee and honey bee in the previous video and termites in this present video so students if you have got any doubts you can get it clarified by asking questions on the chat box thank you